AC here with the Sweet Pea Chef. Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to step up your meal prep game and make your life so much easier. The secret, slow cookers. I'm gonna show you how to slow cook meal prep chicken. We're gonna have shredded chicken four different ways. It's gonna be awesome and it's gonna make life so delicious and so healthy and so tasty. So, let's get started. All right, so first off, let me talk a little bit about slow cookers and why I love them. It's not uncommon for me to have a good three slow cookers going at one time because they make life so easy. You just add all the ingredients, you turn it on, and you walk away. You don't have to worry about things burning. You don't have to worry about adding any ingredients. The flavors develop over time as it slowly cooks, which is a really great way to make this meal prep shredded chicken today. If you don't have a slow cooker yet, I'm gonna go ahead and share the link to the one I'm using today, which I really like and is a really great one because it's nice and large. However, if you don't have one and you wanna make these recipes, just use a large stock pot or something that is gonna hold a bunch of the chicken on the stove. It's not gonna be quite as easy, but you can still make the recipes, so don't fret. All right, so let's start off with a garlic and olive oil shredded chicken in our slow cooker. So in your slow cooker, we're gonna add in some boneless, skinless chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, some low sodium chicken broth, olive oil, garlic powder, sea salt, and ground black pepper. And then toss everything to coat the chicken evenly. Now just cover the slow cooker and we set our timer to four to five hours on low. If you're gonna cook it on high, it would just be a couple hours instead. I like cooking it on low because the flavors develop, but if I'm in a hurry, I will definitely do the high level as well. You'll know the chicken is ready to go when it pulls apart easily and shreds. So using two forks, we're just gonna go ahead and hold the chicken with one fork and kind of pull away with the other one. This is how you shred chicken using a fork. It's very easy. Once you're done shredding the chicken with the forks, go ahead and toss everything back together in with the juices to get everything coated. Allow it to cool a little bit and then transfer that into a meal prep container. Seal it tightly and then transfer that into the refrigerator to store. This garlic and olive oil shredded chicken recipe is a really great base flavor. It doesn't have a whole lot of strong flavor, so you can add it to a ton of different recipes. You can use it for things like chicken noodle soup, or you can even add it to some tacos or nachos or whatever you like. Also, since chicken breast can get a little bit dry if you cook it for long periods of time, I have a little secret. I add some chicken thighs, as you saw, into our slow cooker in order to have a combination. The chicken thighs with the chicken breast makes the perfect shredded chicken combination and makes it so that your chicken is always moist. Next, let's make some slow cooker barbecue shredded chicken, which is super yummy. Now, you could just throw in your own barbecue sauce to this that's out of the pantry. However, a lot of those have a lot of high fructose corn syrup and a bunch of preservatives and just stuff that you don't really wanna be eating if you're on a clean eating diet. So this recipe has your own clean barbecue sauce built into it, and it's really easy. I think you're gonna like it. So add in your boneless, skinless chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, olive oil, minced garlic, tomato sauce, granulated onion, tomato paste, molasses, raw honey, apple cider vinegar, some sea salt, and some ground black pepper. Then we're gonna toss everything to coat it evenly. Then just cover and cook four to six hours low or two to three on high until your chicken is cooked through and ready to shred. Then just use that two fork method to shred your barbecue chicken or if you wanna see a really cool shredded chicken hack that makes shredding chicken super fast, let me show you how to do it with a mixer. This is crazy. So instead of using those two forks, just go ahead and put a hand mixer into the pole of your slow cooker or you could transfer everything into a deeper bowl and just turn it on. You'll see this goes super fast. It can get a little bit messy, that is true, but it is also very fast, so the choice is yours. It is a very cool slow cooker shredded chicken hack. This would also work well in a stand mixer as well or a food processor if you really don't wanna shred it with your hands. Once you have everything shredded, kinda toss it back around into the slow cooker to get it nicely coated with all the remaining juices in there. Then let it cool for a little bit and then transfer it into a meal prep container 
and then put that in the fridge. It's gonna last for four to six days in the fridge and it's gonna be awesome. Barbecue shredded chicken ready to grab. All right, now let's make some slow cooker Mexican shredded chicken, which is a really great topping for nachos or to put in a burrito or for a salad or for just eating with a fork because it's so tasty. Whatever you wanna do, this Mexican shredded chicken is gonna be perfect. So in our slow cooker, we're gonna go ahead and add our boneless, skinless chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, olive oil, tomato paste, sea salt, dried oregano, garlic powder, ground cumin, onion powder, cayenne pepper, and some freshly squeezed lime juice. And we're gonna to toss all of this together in our slow cooker to get it nicely coated. Then, just like with our other recipes, put the cover on, set it to low, and we're gonna cook it for four to six hours, or on high for about two to three hours until our chicken is ready to shred. You can either use our hack of hand blender or you can use the fork method, and we're gonna go ahead and shred all of the chicken. Then, toss that all together once you have it all shredded, again, with the juices to get everything nicely coated. Allow the chicken to cool, and then we're gonna put that into our meal prep container or whatever storage container you have. Just make sure it's airtight, and then transfer it into the fridge for later. Also, when it's time to reheat your shredded chicken, go ahead and just grab the portion that you're gonna eat. Don't reheat the entire meal prep container because that's gonna overcook the chicken every time you do that. Instead, just grab the portion you're gonna use and then put that onto your plate and then reheat that. It's only gonna take one to two minutes to reheat it through. Okay, so I saved what I think is the best for last. We're gonna be making some slow cooker buffalo shredded chicken, which is just so good. It's hot, it's tasty, it's spicy, it has all those delicious buffalo flavors, but with clean and healthy ingredients. So to get started in our slow cooker, go ahead and add your boneless, skinless chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, your favorite hot sauce, olive oil, pure maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, garlic powder, sea salt, and onion powder. Then we're gonna toss everything to coat. Then, I think you know the drill, add the cover, put it on low, four to six hours, or on high, two to three hours, and you will have delicious cooked buffalo chicken ready to shred. Then, using your fork or whatever method you choose, go ahead and shred everything into small bite-sized pieces, and then toss that in. You definitely wanna toss that in with the buffalo chicken sauce that's left inside the slow cooker because every little bit of that is gonna be so tasty. Allow it to cool for just a little bit and then transfer that into our meal prep container. Put the lid on, put it in the fridge. It's gonna last for all week so that you have delicious buffalo shredded chicken ready to grab and add to whatever meal you're looking for some tasty spicy protein. Okay, so now I hope you see just how easy it is to meal prep shredded chicken for the entire week. You have four different recipes to choose from here. They're all really great options for adding a protein to your meals throughout the week. Plus they're so easy to do and it's a really great way to have a healthy protein ready to grab out of the fridge. Again, I will leave the link for the slow cooker I used in all of the recipes today in the links below, just in case you're interested in picking one up for yourself or for your favorite meal prepper out there who could totally use a little extra help and time in the kitchen. Plus, I want you to go check out my seven chicken marinades recipe video because all seven of those marinades will work perfectly as slow cooker shredded chicken. So definitely wanna check that out. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss our new weekly recipe videos and let me know in the comments below which recipe you're gonna try first. I can't wait to hear it. Can't wait to hear what you think about these recipes and thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for being awesome. All right, see you later, bye-bye.